I'm going to run through my sequences for tonight. You can let me know what you think. Um, yeah, let's get going. So if you start by coming into a comfortable position, legs crossed in front of you or out straight, whichever you prefer. Move your neat away so that your sit bones are connecting with the mat. Grow out of your sick body, shoulders back and down, elongated through the neck. Imagine that you have a piece of string pulling us upwards. Rest our hands on our knees, palms facing upwards, ready to receive any goodness this practice has to offer. And close down your eyes if you feel safe and comfortable to do so. Connecting with your own breath. Inhaling and exhaling at a rate that is comfortable to you. The whole practice should be done at a pace and rate that is comfortable to you. I invite you now to set an intention for this practice. How would you like to feel when you step off this mat in 30 minutes? Would you like to let go of something that's bothered you today? Are you ready for bed? Or alternatively have a second one because the housework's not quite done yet. When you're ready to do so, flutter your eyes open. Bring your left ear to meet your left shoulder and placing your left hand on the top of your head over your right ear to encourage that you're closer to the shoulder. Don't place any great strain on it. Gravity will take its toll. Yanking or jerking will only cause pain. And there's a big difference between discomfort on your next inhale take your head back to center drop your left hand down take your right ear over to the right shoulder and have your right hand meet your left ear to encourage the stretch down your left hand Inhale back to center, drop your hand to your knee. We're just going to loosen up our shoulders a little bit now. So we're inhaling, scrunching our shoulders up to our ears as tight as we can. Exhale, roll back and down the body. Inhale, squishing up to the ears as close as you can. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, squishing up. And exhale to release. So we continue with our shoulders by doing three rolls forward, rolling the shoulders round in a circle, bending your shoulders forward and then bending them back. And after you have three forward, we'll do three back three as well, feeling your shoulder blades melt further, move down your back as we roll backwards. We're going to move on now to a seated cat cow, so you can place your hands over your knees as a little bit of leverage. Inhale, you're going to drop your tummy forward, lift your chest towards the moon, tip your head back, exhale, roll through your spine, curving deeply at the bottom, continuing up the vertebrae to your shoulders, exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, come forward, chest lifted, neck high, exhale, roll through your spine, following all the way up to your shoulders, dropping your head to your chest. Inhale forward, exhale round. Last one at your own pace. And come back to a neutral position. So we want to sit now with our hands out in front of our, sorry, our legs out in front of us. And should our sit bones are still connected to the mat and place your hands along your side. Now we're going to go into opening our hips. 
So if you take your right foot and cross it atop of your left knee, we don't want joints to meet joints, so it's slightly above the left knee and slightly above the left ankle. Inhale and as we exhale, have your left, feet meet, left foot meet the ground and bring it towards your body. Now again, you are in control of how far into the body it comes. You should feel a stretch in your hip area around your glutes, but it shouldn't be painful. Find your breath in this position. Torso should be long, shoulders away from the ears, neck elongated, finding balance through the palms of your hands. Release this leg, cross over to the next, so lift your left foot, place it atop of your right knee, feet should be engaged, so your toes should be pulling into your shins. Inhale and as you exhale, slide your right leg as close to your body as you can manage or as comfortable. Find your breath in this position. Try not to collapse through the tummy, torso should be long. And release. Hold your legs and flip over your knees if you can. Coming into child's pose, of course you can just transition whichever way is most comfortable to you. Your knees should be as wide as the mat, back toes touching, melt your heart towards the ground. Meeting the mat with your forehead, leg, arms rather, out in front. Find your breath in this pose. At any point during the practice, if you feel it's too much or you feel you're tiring, please return to child's pose. It is where you find your safety. On your next exhale, slide your arms in, come up to a tabletop position, shoulders atop of wrists, knees under hips and tops of the feet pressing into the ground, back should be nice and long. We're going to go transition into a downward dog, so tuck your toes at the back, lift your knees off the mat and press your hips to the sky. Ensure that your shoulders are away from your ears, you're using the whole of your hands, pads of your fingertips, to find balance through your pose, and you can pedal out your legs as comfortable. My favourite thing to do is to come up on all ten toes, and then place them back down, because that was a really satisfying crack to be had. On your next inhale, bend your knees and tiptoe your way to the top of the mat. Bringing both feet together, ensuring your weight is through all four corners of the feet. Allow the crown of your head to reach to the floor. Inhale and on your exhale, begin to rebuild your spine. <clears throat> inhale. Raise your hands above your head, ensuring that your pelvis is tucked. Your shoulders are down away from your ears. And you are zipped up, your legs are zipped up, lifting through the knees. You want to grab your left your back wrist with your right hand and bend over to the right, standing side bend. We don't want to collapse in on ourselves, we want to keep our heart shining towards the moon, having a gentle tug on the left arm. Inhale and exhale back to centre. Now we want to take a wide, we're going to step into a wide stance. Feet should be wider than our shoulders, toes turned out 45 degrees. Tailbone tucked, 
rib, neck and in. Try to tuck them into your waistband, shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, raise your hands up to the sky. And as we exhale, we're going to cactus our arm out 90 degrees from our shoulders and sink into our goddess pose. Jeez. You want your weight to be evenly distributed through all four corners of your feet, tailbone remaining tucked, ribs not flaring. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale back into goddess pose. Inhale, grow tall. Turn your right toes towards the top of the mat and allow your left foot to draw parallel to the back of the mat. Legs should be straight and there should be a line drawn between your heels. Raise your shoulders, sorry, raise your arms to shoulder height and allow your right hand to be pulled forward, slide forward from the hips and come down into triangle pose. Now in this instance, you may want to use a block if you can't get your hand to the ground. Alternatively, you can just place your hand on the inside of your thigh. You can play around with the height of your block. You then want to stack your left shoulder atop of your right, shine your heart to, towards the moon and take your gaze to your left thumb. Find your breath. To transition into extend to side angle, we're going to bend through our front knee, allowing our back foot to slip away. Meet the floor with your right hand and extend your left arm alongside your shoulder, following the gaze of your palm. Again, find your breath. You should have a lovely straight line drawn from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Inhale, exhale, swim your hand round to the front. Frame your front foot as you spin on your back foot to be on your toes. And lift up through your chest. Roll in. Inhale and as you exhale, step your foot to meet at the top of the mat. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale. Come up to standing, legs, arms above your head, body parts are hard. We want our feet to be roughly shoulder width apart, tailbone tucked, ribs locked in, shoulders away from ears. Inhale and as we exhale, we're going to drive our hands through to heart centre as we come into our yogi squat. Now we want all four corners of our feet, oh she said four corners of our feet to be on the ground. We want to widen our knees and then push in with our elbows, lifting our hearts towards the moon. Find your breath. Inhale and on your next exhale, you want to travel up bringing your hands out to the side, toes pointing ahead, neck elongated, five star, five point star, and release. We're going to repeat that again on the other side. So we Bent over to the right last time, so we'll do so on the left knee. Bringing your feet together, zipping your legs up, tucking your tailbone under, bringing your ribs in, inhale, lift your arms above your head, grab the right wrist with the left hand, and on your exhale, side bend to the left. 
Again, keeping your heart open, we don't want to be falling in. Heart open towards the moon. Exhale back to centre. We want to step wider around our shoulders. Tuck our tailbone under, turn this round. And, uh, sorry, and point our feet out 45 degree angles. Inhale, raise your hands. Exhale to meet in goddess pose. Squatting back, tucking your tailbone. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, also bring your arms out to cactus 90 degrees from your shoulders. 90 degree bend, sorry, in your arms. Riding back up. Point the left toes towards the top, allow the right foot to run parallel. Bring your arms out alongside your shoulders. Inhale, glide forward with the top half of your body. Exhale, come down using your block if required to triangle. Stack your right shoulder atop your left. Reach up through your fingertips. Follow the gaze, follow your gaze, follow your thumb with your gaze rather. To move into extended extended side bend we're going to push through the front knee not allowing it to track over the toes slide the back foot back meet the ground with your hand and extend your arm alongside your ear looking for your thumb trying to create a nice long line with your body Exhale, swim your hand round. Frame your front foot as you turn on the back toes. We want our knee to be slack directly above our ankle, so if you need to shimmy at all, please do so. Balancing on your toes and your back foot while pushing your heel away, keeping that leg strong. Lift your heart towards the moon. We'll lunge. Inhale and as you exhale, step your front foot forward and rise up through the spine. Inhale, bringing your hands above your head. Try not to flare your ribs. Shoulders lift from ears. Exhale down to yogi squat. Oh, cracking. Pulling your knees out, placing your elbows in between. Raising your heart to the moon. You should have your weight evenly distributed through all four corners of your feet. Easier said than done. If you need to shiggle, that's okay. Inhale and as you exhale, rise up. Bringing your shoulders out. Turning your ankles so your toes are facing the front, but just wider than shoulder width apart. Hands open, neck elongated, five point star. Step your feet together and make your way down to the floor in whichever way is most comfortable for you. And we're going to do going to the climb the butterfly. So bring the soles of your feet together. Allow gravity to take hold of your knees and allow them to fall out to the side. If you want to use your blocks to support them, please do. And ensure again that you are sitting right on top of the sit bones you're connecting with the mat. You want to use your hands to help you guide down to the floor. Lying straight back. Hands out by the side, shoulders roll down the back, finding your breath in this position. This is quite a passive move, or a passive pose I should say. Don't feel that you need to drive your knees anywhere, just let them fall.
bring your knees back together. You can do so with the support of your hands. Place your feet on the mat. Our next move is going to be a supported bridge. So you may want to grab your block for this. Again, if you don't have the block, you can do the fine. Rolling yourself back down to light half lion position. <laughs> Push through your feet to raise your hips and place your block just under your coccyx. Kind of the sweet spot between your bum and back. Allow all the weight from your pelvis to fall onto that block. Bring your hands out to the side or overhead if that's comfortable for you. Feet remain planted on the ground. Shoulders down away from ears. Find your breath. On your next exhale, press through the feet, driving your hips up into the air. Remove the block and allow your back to lower down to the mat, feeling the space that you have just created with the block. Our next pose is going to be happy baby pose. So from where you are, drive your feet up into the air, bring your knees into your chest and grab the inside of your feet with your hands. Feel free to find movement here, or stay still if you prefer. Allow your knees to fall as close towards the ground as they can, opening up through the hips. Relax your feet down to the ground. Take them as wide as your mat, allowing your toes to fall out the way. Connect your whole body to the mat. Ensure that your neck is elongated. Run your thumbs up and feel your, your chin tuck. <laughs> Run your thumbs up either side of your neck and allow your chin to tuck slightly. Roll your shoulders down your back. Place your hands out to the side even distance from the midline and close over the eyes. Now is our time to say thank you for our bodies. Thank you to our bodies allowing us to partake in yoga, to look after ourselves, to keep us going and survive another Tuesday which is definitely the worst day of the week. Thank yourself for showing up. Remind yourself of your intention at the end of the mat, at the beginning of the practice. What how you wanted to feel when you left the mat? Have you achieved that? Find some silence and some stillness, and I will return to you in a few minutes. 